Saturday. I am three days into the semester. The first day of the semester was Thursday and I had my sculpture class in the morning and then I had an art history class later in the night and in sculpture we did mold making and one, one, of, the, one of the mold makings we did was alginate which is a non-toxic mold and is what dentists use when they're like casting your teeth like made me have like dentist like flashbacks it was not fun but they make really realistic molds and one of the castings that we did was like our hand so that's what it looked like and then after that I had my art history class and then this morning it's currently Saturday um, I went to yoga this morning and then I got showered got showered I showered I put on my face and then in a bit I'm actually gonna go out to lunch with a friend that I just met we're going to a place called Wildberry Cafe it's like one of the most five or four star rated places in Chicago and Yelp. So we're gonna go there, hang out, and then I have some errands to run throughout the day. So that's the plan. Oh my god, my shoulders are killing me. Oh. Hello, um, it is Monday. I just came back from painting class and we got out early, so it's about lunchtime right now. Um, today was the first day, so we did icebreakers, introductions, syllabus, and then we went to Blick, which is an art store, and he showed us all the art supplies that we need to get. It's gonna be a lot of money. Um, and then after that, we actually went to the museum and he pointed out different types of paintings and um, like techniques and oils and it was it was a lot of walking. It's gonna be a lot of money. I need food in my system. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a haul for all the painting supplies that I got yesterday. I just wanna do a forewarning saying that this is for a specific teacher in a specific painting class. It's like the introductory one. So it might be different for different teachers and if you bring your own supplies, majority of teachers will be flexible and say like, oh, if we already have this, then we can just try to match that grade. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that I got was Gamasol and I also got Liquin, linseed stand oil. I got a lot of oils. Um, I got refined linseed oil. I'm just gonna put them over here. I got a four ounce and a two ounce squeeze bottle to mix the oil in. I also got regular gel semi gloss. He didn't, my teacher didn't specify it to get glossy or matte, so I got an in between. I got cold wax. And then I got two different jars. I got this one from Artists and Craftsmen, which is a cheaper art store. And then I got this one from Blick, which he showed us. So I'm gonna show it to him in class and be like, which one's better and then return it. Got those two. Got a white vinyl eraser to erase the outline. So the palette knife. Um, I was supposed to get a style five palette knife and I got a style 10 because when I was going up and down the aisles, it went, one, two, three, four, five, and then 10. And I'm like, where'd six through nine go? So I just got a 10. Um, the, I should have gotten a six. I mean, I should have gotten a four, but it was a lot more rounded. So I got a 10 one instead. 
I got an alligator clamp. This is actually from a friend, but I am going to intend buying one soon. I just got this before class started. And then I got two 16 panels and two 20 panels for canvases. And then the canvas that I got is two yards unstretched. And I'm going to be learning how to stretch canvases out of this. And what else, what else is down here is um, a glass panel for mixing paints. He did suggest getting plastic, but it does tint and stain easier. So I just went and got a glass one. And then I also got a paintbrush for gessoing. His advice to us on gesso was to split one with a friend. So this is the one we split. And then we got mini like tubes and put it in there. Well, I also got wood keys for stretching canvases, 200 refined sandpaper for gesso, palette paper of course, and then brushes. He recommended getting a standard pack just to see like what our styles are, and I don't have any, like any, um, what's the word? I don't have any experience in painting whatsoever. My elective last year was photography, so it came with cameras and a little bit of charcoal, and that was my supplies. So I'm really starting from the beginning. So I'm just gonna start off with like a really small value pack of brushes and then work my way up to see which type of brush style I like most. And to the fun part is the paints. So the probably the most expensive thing here are the paints. Um, you can get different grades. You can get like Utrecht, Gamblin 1980, or Winston. Um, he suggested getting Gamblin 1980 because it's the like middle point of student grade and artist grade. So the colors that he told us to get was a really big tube of white, um, blue, viridian, burnt sienna, and then cadmium yellow medium, a different type of blue, purple, and then cadmium yellow, red medium, burnt umber, I think it's called Alzarinian, and then black. So all of the smaller ones is 37 ounces, 37 ounces, and then white is 150. And I think that's it. This is my receipt. I think everything in, it's like a CVS receipt. Um, <laughs> everything in total was around $250, 250 to 300. Um, I'm really hoping that it'll all be worth it, and if not, I just get really good experience and I'll have painting supplies for the rest of my life.